just a normal family. A little awkward, sometimes weird, loud and crazy. Wait, did I say normal? Oops, my bad. Stick around. Get to know us. We have Cheyenne and Tyree. This is Savannah. I'm Michelle. And this is The Shell Bill Life. Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday. Yes, I'm in bed. Yes, I'm covered up to my head. It is so cold. I don't know. I don't know. I do not want to get up yet. It's freezing. Yes, I have my fan on. That's just me. Uh, have church today, and then after that, no plans. Just to relax the rest of the day. But I'm having one of those moments where I do not want to get out of bed. I feel like I could just stay home and sleep. But I'm not going to go to church. Not because I have to, but because I want to. Church, you guys know, is a big part of my life. So, yeah. So, you guys, um, the other day when I was driving to work, I was getting text messages from the pastor's wife. Um, a lot of us are in a group text at church. Well, a lot of the women for yeah a lot of the ladies and our pastor had a mini stroke he's not going to be there today um, we do have other people that will take over the service and preach and stuff like that but um, yeah he had a mini stroke and I'm worried I want everything to be okay so I will keep you guys updated on that I'm sure I'll find out more today so yeah I'm tired you guys I could just lay here and go back to sleep what time is it? It's almost 10 o'clock. Church starts at 12. Um, normally because I'm a part of, not the music ministry, Tariq is, but a part of, um, I'm a part of the ministry. Um, I'm supposed to be an example, so we're supposed to be there by 11.30 for prayer. I'll make it. I don't live far from church. And I don't take that long to get ready. I still have to get in the shower. Hmm, I don't think no one else is up because I don't hear anything. Alright, you guys. Let me turn this into something more presentable. So, I'm at Winco again. I feel like I live here, you guys. It's just me, not the kids. I'm getting stuff for dinner today and then going home. Alright, home from church. Time to do the dishes. All right, all clean. I think I showed this to you guys last year. Um, I get it at Winco, and it's three dollars. It smells so good, pine cones. It smells like cinnamon, and it smells really good. Um, I get it every year, so when I can't smell this anymore, I'll get another one. So I'll end up getting maybe like four or five until they don't sell them anymore. But do you guys get this? Have you seen it? Do you like it? I love it. So it is 9.30. And I'm just laying in bed, um, trying to figure out what to watch until I go to sleep. Probably American Horror Story. Um, Apocalypse is on Netflix, but I guess 1984 is on TV now. And you guys know I cut out regular cable, so I won't see it until it comes on Netflix, probably next year. I don't know. So I may watch that. So I just filmed a... Let me get it, you guys. Y'all already know when I'm tired, I cannot think and I start rambling about nonsense. I don't know. What am I talking about? See? Anyway, I just filmed a clean with me video. I completely cleaned my room, cleaned my dressers, and all the clean clothes that I had um, to put away. I put those away. So, yeah, I don't know when that'll be up, but I did film it. And I was going to also film a, another video, but I didn't get a chance to do it tonight. So I will do it another night, maybe tomorrow. And yeah, I'm tired, you guys. So 
may be it for tonight. Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday. I'm on my way to work. Um, it is so cold, you guys. Yes, I do have my heater on. It's cold. I checked the weather app on my phone, and it said the high today is supposed to be 77. Doesn't feel like it, because right now it's freezing. It's so cold. Um, yeah. So on Monday, I got 14 brand new students. When I went to dental and everyone that I talked to that went to a dental school, even Cheyenne, when she did her dental assisting, you stayed with the same teacher the whole time. Here they do things a little bit differently. They have one teacher or two teachers. There's two of us that teaches the beginning um, dentistry. And then after that, they move on to other areas like chair side and then x-rays and stuff like that. So yeah, the school just does it a little bit differently. I am so cold, you guys. What was I going to say? So I got 14 brand new students. Well, I take that back, except one. I have one student that was in the last module who is coming back. And I don't want to say the person's name or anything like that in case they watch this video later on down the line or come across it because this person has every capability to produce good grades and everything. This person has showed me this before and I've talked to this person many a times throughout the month and told them, hey, you need to get it together because you could end up um, being held back. Well, this person is a social butterfly and everyone in this cl the class loves the person, which is not a bad thing, not a big deal. But because of this reason, this person failed and they always come late to class, unprepared, not doing their homework, yeah, all that, all that. So that person is back in my module um, this month and so far, they, they turned in their homework. They turned in their homework that's not due until tomorrow. Yeah, um, that and what else is going on? Not much, you guys. I've been a little bit sick. And I say a little bit sick because I don't feel it like coming on full blown. I feel myself kind of like getting congested and coughing and not so much with a runny nose. I don't know, I just feel weird, I feel really tired. There was one day, um, maybe Monday night, when I came home from work, y'all. I pretty much showered and I made something for dinner. And I feel like I told you guys this already. And I went to bed for, I slept from six in the evening until when I woke up that next day for work and I'm glad I woke up because I didn't even set my alarm clock and yeah I was so tired and I do remember my kids come and checking on me like mom are you okay I'm like I'm fine I'm just tired and I've done this before where my body just was like no I'm done I need I need to rest and that's what I did it's too soon to call in or anything like that so to work I go and it's not that bad at all. I mean, I mean it's work, yeah, but once I get there, um, the day usually flies by, especially when they go into lab and start doing hands-on. That part of the afternoon, I mean, you blink and it's time for them to go. So, yeah, you guys, I'm really tired. Uh, I'm tired not to get sick, but I feel it coming on. So I made it to work, you guys, but I wanted to show you that so in the beginning of the module is when they have the most homework the first week and I remember remember I was telling you guys I was bringing home like binders and books and stuff like that every single night well not last night this is all I brought home this has all their homework in it and the answer key and then my record book that I keep the record of their grades in so that is all I brought home I'm so excited I'm finally finding my flow how I'm going to do things so yeah and it's very cold so I better get in the building but it's even cold in the building so I'm just gonna be cold remember I showed you guys a picture of my classroom where well, this is my lab I'm able to show it the students are gone right now so there's three operatories and two and three over there I'm trying to be quick before someone else comes in but yep this is my lab I can't show you everything because the school name is on the walls and everything so oh, I am home just relaxing me and Savannah over there and we just watched Shane Dawson's um, video, the part one. Did y'all hear? Mm -hmm. Wait, say it again. We just watched. 
We just watched um, Shane Dawson's part one video. And we think she was in the video. Cause when Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star came to Sacramento, you know how Savannah went down there to see him and I put in the video that she got picture, not pi a picture with him, but in her Snapchat, she and also seen him. I was on Jeffree Star's Let story. me just let her talk. I was on Jeffree Star's story. I don't know, I don't know what fame is like, but. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all heard all that, right? Because I'm not repeating it. So anyway, so that's what we just watched. The part one for the Shane Dawson series. Series. Yeah, it's like a series. Yeah. So just sitting here and I'm, I think I'm actually about to go in my room because I think she's headed that way. You were on your way to your room, weren't you? Only because you said you didn't want to watch what I want to watch. Well, I don't want to watch a bunch well, of no. TikTok videos. <laughs> yes, don't lie. No. no. She's into it's TikTok. Oh, you don't understand. TikTok is like ruined my life. It's yeah. so addicting. It's um, so yes, Carol made a comment. Um, she said you can call it the TikTok bug. Yes, yes she has. This is all this girl does. I Do you want wait that fourth morning. <laughs> for the past like week and a half now? I've been up at five in the morning just scrolling through TikTok. It's it's a different world. You don't even understand. It's like a it's like a cult. I guess I have to be 17. Just download it. Some, I'm not gonna you know, download that. On there? But I'm not gonna be on TikTok. Can y'all imagine me on TikTok doing stuff like this? <laughs> <laughs> no, that is not you okay. Can go viral if you be I will go viral because I would look Crazy. stupid. <laughs> so can they see the video that you did? No. Can I show them really quick? <laughs> What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> she thinks she's a famous TikToker. Okay, why did is that is that what they call them TikTokers? I think I just made yeah, that up. It's a real thing. But oh, it's, it's a just, real thing. I'm not doing to be famous. It's just fun. It's just fun. If this... I happen to get it, <laughs> <laughs> movie of the night, The Corpse Bride. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday. Yes, I'm going to work. I'm just wearing this shirt underneath my lab coat. I don't take my lab coat off when I wear it because I just don't. Anyway, it's Friday that I say that, but I just wanted to show you guys this. So I made banana pudding last night for the family and there's four of us in the house, right? I just wanna show you how fast things disappear in this house. Okay, so this whole pan <laughs> was full last night. Savannah and I just made it and it's kind of like a deep pan. So there was a lot, right? I got one time out of this last night. I wake up. This is all that's left. So I'm going to put me a little bit up. That way I can have some when I come home later. Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday. I'm about to straighten up the house a little. Just vacuum and put the pillows back, back where they belong because Savannah was sitting there last night when we were watching TV. So anyway, remember I showed you guys yesterday before I left for work <laughs> in the clip before this that um, I made banana pudding the night before. Let me show you this. This is what I came home to. Good thing I put some away from me because I would have came home to this. See this bowl? They cleaned this bowl completely. Yeah, that's why I took me some out. See how deep this is, how thick it is? My kids, all of them eat Way more than me. How is it that I'm the biggest one in the house, but they eat more than me? I don't get it. Each and every one of them. But also when I was their age, I was able to eat and not really gain weight like I did when I got older. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to make me some coffee and figure out what I want for breakfast and then um, probably do nothing. So we're at home now. And well, you guys didn't even know we left. It's much later. <laughs> it's what time is it, Savannah? It is. 7:12. It is 7:12, and we were out Since earlier. Wednesday. Yeah, and we went to Winco. Surprise, surprise! And we got more ingredients for banana pudding because surprise, this one surprise. over yeah because this one over here ate so much of the last bowl. Yeah, so we are watching Mamma Mia. Here we go again, the second movie, and yeah, it's just us that are home. Are you gonna play that over and over again? Anyway, Tariq and Savannah, nope, Savannah's right here. Tariq <laughs> and Cheyenne went over to my friend Tracy's daughter's house. Yeah, 
because the youngest like daughter, she w okay, she went to her cousin's apartment. It, I could have said that easier. So anyway, it's just us two here in Boston. <laughs> you looking at me like what? Love this movie. No, go ahead and sing, Savannah. Give us a concert. <laughs> she was just singing, but I love this movie. This is the world. morning everyone it is Sunday yes this is what I look like in the mornings oh my goodness I am trying to find something to wear for church and then I'm going to take a shower and then I'm going to have my coffee or I'll probably make my coffee after I get out the shower or make it before I get the shower that way I can have it after I get up I don't know anyway I'm gonna make my coffee eventually and then get ready and then the next time you see me I won't be looking like this here we go more presentable. So I'm done getting ready. Get a shower, brush my teeth, wash my face. I filed a complaint. But yeah, I'm ready for church and I am about to go have my coffee now. And let me show you guys what happened. So on my camera <laughs> that I'm filming with right now has a strap on the end and this strap right here, look what happened you guys. The strap broke completely. And I knew it was gonna happen soon because I seen this part frayed and I was being really careful with it, but of course it just broke. So I'm feeling really unsafe when I use my camera because I usually always put this around my arm unless I'm in the house or whatever. So I actually had to order another camera strap on Amazon and it should be here this week, but this time I got the kind that has metal around the end. That way it won't fray and break like this. I've had this since I've had the camera, so I guess it's, you know, pretty good. Let me show you the strap that I will be getting. I hope you guys can see that, but see it's a metal strap. Well, not a metal strap, but um, it has a metal ring right there. That way I can hook it on to the side of my camera. That way it won't break and i think this was like six bucks and i know i can go into like what's that store Best Buy, but i don't know i just decided to do it online and that way i don't have to worry about going into the store anyway i'm all set for church i still have like over an hour it's 10 o'clock church doesn't start until noon i don't leave until 11 15 so i have all this time maybe i'll film a video yeah i think i have time for that so home from church and I made a homemade burrito. I'm about to eat that and leftover banana pudding and I'm actually watching Annabelle out here in the living room by myself because everyone else is busy or whatever and yeah so I'm gonna do that while it's light outside that way I can have time to think about happy happy stuff after the movie's over. Alright so I just finished watching Annabelle. The thrill is gone. It wasn't that great of a movie. And I am actually about to take my ponytail off. I know I never let you guys see me do this. And that's not going to change today. Because <laughs> when it comes off, my hair looks like a complete hot mess. Ooh. Y'all just don't know. Nothing is better than the feeling of coming home and taking your ponytail off when it's on your head very tight. So this is how we started our day with me looking like this and this is how we are going to end it. Um, yeah, so I'm just relaxing. I'm about to edit a video that I filmed this morning and that video will be up before you guys see this one about um, my top 10 things that annoy me or I, I don't even know what I'm going to um, name it yet but you guys will already know when you guys see this so yeah so I'm gonna edit that and put that up and then watch things on YouTube just catch up on all of my subscriptions and I guess the gondolas at Disney World broke down last night for like three hours yeah that might have been scary especially if they were stuck over the water or over the freeway i know when we went last year i was told that when we were planning the trip when i talked to people at disney world 
whatever, that they were trying to have the gondolas ready by September of 2018, which was last year. So they weren't ready, and then I guess they just opened up maybe earlier this week or I don't know, something like that last week. And yeah, they broke down already. So it's in. So I'm just gonna watch a bunch of videos and upload that video that I filmed this morning. And it's just me and the girls are home. Tyreek is out skating. Sean, I think, is taking a nap. And Savannah's doing her homework. And she's probably gonna be in her room doing her homework the rest of the night. So you guys get me. All right, you guys. So it's much later. It's almost 10 o'clock. And I'm tired. I'm gonna go to bed. Not a whole lot happening in this vlog. Just little bits from here and there from day by day. But yeah, you're all caught up in what's been going on the last few weeks, which was absolutely nothing. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.